Welcome everyone. At this time, if I could please have everyone rise, as I would like to now invite the band to lead us in the national anthem. Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining our class of 2023 in celebration of all of our accomplishments. I am Avery Bosler, the senior class president. We are excited to be here and cannot wait to cross the stage in front of all of you tonight. Thank you parents, family, and friends for all of your support in joining us here. Joining us on the stage tonight are members of our Goodrich Area Schools Board of Education and our superintendent, my dad, Mr. Bosler. You guys can be seated now. All right. Good evening. I am Jaden Urog. Mr. Nardizi, our assistant principal, Mr. McCray, our athletic director, and other district administrators. In addition, we are welcoming our teaching staff from Reed Elementary, Oak Tree Elementary, the middle school, and the high school who have all helped us get to where we are today. Thank you for all of your support and guidance to get us here to this stage. Thank you, Avery and Jaden. We have a lot of great leaders in this class, and these are two of the finest. I want to thank all of you for joining us here tonight to honor and celebrate the class of 2023. Speaking of thank yous, this does not happen without the help of so many. I'd like to thank the following people. Thank you to our Board of Education and Mr. Bosler for your guidance throughout this school year. Thank you to our teaching staff for their support and care for our students. All the volunteers that help uh, handing out programs, manning the sound system, setting up the stage. Without everyone pitching in, we're not able to pull something like this off. Our office staff, Judy Conlin, Jamie Longer, Christy Oswija, just to name a few, Rob McCray, our athletic drugger, who does so much to help out in so many other areas. I'd like to thank Bob Forback and Trisha Nelson, our counselors, and Mr. Nardizi, our assistant principal. We do so much. Kevin Tipton and Lori Van Sumeren in our technology department. They set up the sound tonight, providing the live feed for night and even filming as we speak. I'd like to thank our class of 2023 advisor, Courtney Cox, who I think has finally recovered from her Cedar Point trip. And a special shout out to all the parents involved this year. We want, to take, we want to make sure they know we appreciate all the extra hours you put into making this a one-of-a-kind experience for our seniors. The senior gifts, yard signs, baccalaureate, and the buy-by-queue are just a few of the many special events 
that parents and other volunteers put on to ensure a very memorable year. I want to thank Mark McCollum, Steve Romankowitz, Tina Jenkins, Bruce Edwards, Carter Loinger, and all of our maintenance, transportation, and custodial crew. The countless hours and flexibility they had this week, it's appreciated beyond words. I'd like to also thank uh, Ella Kentworthy, who's pitched in the last few days helping with the stage, helping Miss Warren. She's up in the press box now, last minute helping out. Uh, Kathy Beard spent a lot of time on our stage here. Uh, just, there's a lot of people, so just want to get some thank yous. And last but not certainly not least, Joe Warren. She embodies what makes Goodridge such a great place for students, staff, and our community. Her dedication and planning for this commencement in order to make it one to remember for our students is so greatly appreciated. She's a Goodrich Martian through and through. Thank you, Joe. All right, I think that's, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like the band is ready to go. So at this time, I am honored to introduce our high school band and director, Mr. Orkish, as they will play a musical piece entitled Uprising. Thank you, band. That was a wonderful piece. Let's get one more round of applause for our seniors, their last performance. At this time, I would like to recognize our top GPA students for the class of 2023. These students had the highest GPA overall during their four years of high school. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Lillian Mee. Jaden Lip. Connor Rhodes. William Gerard. Cole May. Connor McGuffin.
Owen DeCicci. Jaden Yuragdi. Kaden Kolonowski. And taking home the top GP overall, Jack Forback. That is quite an accomplishment. How about one more round of applause? Next, we'd like to honor our senior scholars. At the state and national level, schools use a formula which combines a student's GPA and SAT score to determine the overall top academic honor for each graduating class. The formula is also used in our Flint Metro Conference. We are proud to present our top 10 senior scholars this year, and in a moment, we'll help deliver the message to their classmates. Please join me on stage up front when I call your name. Connor McGuffin. Luke Martela. Connor Rhodes. Jaden Yuragdi. Joshua Wan. Owen DeCicci. William Gerard. Kaden Kolonowski. Lillian Mee. Jack Forback. Again, this is your top 10 senior scholars. How about one more round of applause while we hear some speeches? Speaking first will be Jack Forback. All right. Hello. Um, most of you probably know me. Uh, I'm Jack Forback. And if you knew me before the age of 10, I'm sorry because I probably punched or kicked you or something. So sorry about that. But um, anyway, I want to keep it short and I want to keep this simple. Uh, I remember you, and um, you may not think that I do, but I do. Uh, every time we'd sit together at lunch, every book fair, recess, or conversation we had, I remember them. And I remember them because I cherish them. They remind me of who you all are, who I remember you as, and who I know you'll be the kind, understanding, capable people of my past. That's who you are to me and who you'll always be. So I just wanted to say truly thank you. Um, I love you guys and uh, goodbye. Thanks for the memories and the greatest childhood I could have asked for, so. <laughs> All right. Hi, my name is. Whoa. 
Connor McGuffin, and I'd just like to start by saying congratulations to the class of 2023. We have finally made it to graduation. And uh, special regards to all my friends, teachers, and family, especially my mother and father, and also the fine people at my job, Enzo's Pizza. Help me make the best pizza in town, huh? <laughs> and they have all helped me help mold me into the man I am today. And uh, over the years, I've learned a lot from textbooks and teachers, but the most valuable lessons I've learned were the ones that no book can teach. My friendships have taught me that the most important thing in life is to live in the moment. In a way, moments in life are like a vast forest, for if you are preoccupied with a single leaf, you won't see the tree. And preoccupied with a single tree, you'll miss the entire forest. Examining the individual leaf is like looking to your past and moments where you didn't do as maybe well on a test as you might have wanted or didn't do as well in a game and like didn't perform your best or you felt like you lost someone who was close to you. Sorry, I lost words that. Happens. Um, but you cannot let the frustrations of the past define how you are living in the present. Although the past provides many moments to treasure, looking to the future is also essential. We're all paving our separate paths and the path forward is discernibly daunting, leaving this place that for some of us is the only place we've ever known. But for the future, it also yields new opportunities, meeting new people and making new experience. But just as the past and future is important, it's only like looking at a single tree. But to see the entire forest, you must not only acknowledge your past and future, but you must take part in the present. Take part in each moment. When we cross this stage and accept our diplomas, we cannot just view this moment as but a stepping stone for our futures, but as a moment to cherish. For this is our final time together as Goethe's Class 2023. But let's take this time as a moment to celebrate our successes, a moment towards a better tomorrow and a moment to live in. That is what it means to see the entire forest. Thank you. Hello, I'm William Gerard. I'm gonna try and keep this quick. So I just wanna give a quick thank you to everyone here from the parents to the staff and of course, to my fellow graduates. Um, David Brinkley once claimed, a successful man is one who can lay a firm foundation with the bricks others have thrown at him. By the nature of us all being here, I feel confident in saying, we have all built a firm foundation. All of us have struggled. All of us have been inundated with bricks, with obstacles, with problems. But despite all of that, we stand here today, and through our diplomas, we have all achieved success in some way, shape, or form. While we have all built our foundations, how we journey from here is what will make us who we are. Throughout the rest of our lives, we will continue to be attacked by the bricks of others, by the bricks of life. How we persevere that onslaught will define us. Will we choose to throw back the bricks of life and bemoan our failings? Or will we use those bricks to expand upon our foundation and forge a comfortable life through the hail of bricks? Thank you. I'd like to begin with a quick thank you to all of the staff, teachers, management, and janitors, as without you, none of us would be here today. I'd also like to thank my parents so I don't get in trouble after this speech. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, my name is Connor Rhodes, and I've been going to Goodrich my entire life. And I look around at many of these people which I have grown up with all this time, or most of this time, and think about how many of them have had it all figured out. What college they're going to, what exact major, how long their college journey will take, how long their work until retirement, whereas I have a confession to make. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And to make matters worse, I find public speaking embarrassing. Second, 
second only to telling someone I have a peanut allergy. I might have been exaggerating a little when I said I have no idea what I'm doing. I do know I'm going to the University of Michigan Flint with my eye on computer science, though beyond that, no idea. That is what leaves me with this quote. The only thing that makes life possible is permanent, intolerable uncertainty, not knowing what comes next, a name I don't know how to pronounce. Of course, it would be nice to know more about what I want to do. However, I feel a life that is deliberately planned out is a life that is boring. What makes life interesting are the things you don't know. The fun encounter you'll have at a cafe, the unpredictable large tip you get at work, or a random movie that strikes a chord with you. All of which you don't know is going to happen, but when it does, it makes your life that much more fun. Beyond that, however, the fact you don't know what you are doing gives you the freedom to explore many different channels of your life, and who knows where you'll end up. So for everyone like me, who has no idea what they're doing, embrace the fact you don't, as that's what makes life enjoyable in the first place. Thank you. Oh, I wish I could have went first, having to listen to everybody. Whew. Good afternoon, class of 2023. I'm still trying to fathom how the year we've all been writing down on our email is actually this year. I started writing this speech on May 11th at 11.31 p.m., the night before Nardizi asked me to do it, as I do most of my assignments. But at least I can say I'm not Caden, who probably wrote this five minutes ago in the parking lot. For my speech, I would like to take a path down memory lane. I like to start in Washington, D.C., the best trip I've ever had with a class. And thanks to Andrew, we even got to see the Northern Lights in D.C. <laughs> D.C. was the beginning of our class collection, or connection, sorry. Flash forward a year, our school is shut down with poop flooding the halls. And not even a couple months later, there's a global pandemic. Continuing the sophomore year, we have classrooms and auditoriums. Everyone's wearing a mask. Truly not how any of us saw the high school experience going. Continuing the junior year, COVID's still rampaging through America. We have state testing and extremely difficult classes. But despite all the struggles, we ended with the most successful year of any class academically, athletically, and in school spirit. I can say with confidence that the class of 2023 is the most talented, most successful class that has ever graced the halls of Goodrich. I cannot imagine how this is the last time I'll see many of the faces in front of me. I am sad to go, as are many of you, but I am excited for what the future holds for all of us. Being the last Desici to graduate from Goodrich, I'd like to make a special thank you to the staff, coaches, and community for giving me and my family the best high school experience we could all ask for. I wish you all the best moving forward. Thank you. I don't know who made the order, but putting me after him was not a good idea. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, fellow graduates, welcome to the grand finale of our high school journey. That is what I would have said if I was going to give a formidable speech. That, however, is not the plan. Today I stand before you, not as your valedictorian, not as your class president, but as a senior scholar. And like many of you, before Mr. McDowell just said what the formula was, I had no idea what that was. If it were up to me, and although he kept it short, I would have given all 20 minutes to Jack Forbeck. Some of you may not know this, but I'm actually not a peer Goodrich Martian. I went to a very small Grand Blanc Elementary School in the Perry Center building on Saginaw Road. In fifth grade, there were four boys in my entire grade. I played all Goodrich youth sports, so when middle school came around, I decided to join my friends and I never looked back. And I couldn't have picked a better class to be a part of. The 2023 Goodrich class, like Owen said, in my opinion, is the best class in the history of Goodrich. No one comes close. My past senior year was filled with many positives and negatives, which consisted of myself running out with the Martian flag covered in body paint, 
for the greatest team in Goodrich football history to sitting on the basketball bench with a boot on. Basketball has been a very big part of my life, and I worked very hard over the past two years for this season. And unfortunately, I fractured my first mental tarsal bone in my right foot two minutes into the sixth game of the year. I was playing pretty well for the first five, and the injury destroyed me. Almost everything I thought about and did up to that point was basketball related. However, I made it my mission not to let others be negatively impacted by my injury. I always had a smile on my face and tried to be the best teammate I could be. I went from a player to a coach, yet whenever I was alone, I was very demoralized, but I wasn't gonna let that impact anyone. If I can give you any advice, it would be to always uplift others. No matter what adversity you are dealing with, you can always work to have a positive impact on others. I would like to thank all of you for not being supportive to only me, but everyone who is graduating today. The village of Goodrich is truly an amazing community, and although my street address does not say Goodrich, I will forever be a Martian. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you all for being here. I'm honored to be able to speak to you this evening. When I first came to Goodrich in the middle of second grade, everything and everyone was new to me. I was scared that I would have a hard time making friends. However, my time here has been filled with so many amazing memories and people, people who gave me the will to come to school, even on the days when I couldn't get out of bed. It seems like just yesterday when we took a field trip to the Butterfly Garden in the Detroit Zoo, but the past 10 years, especially the past four in high school, have flown by. The other day, I found a picture in my camera roll. It was a map of the school from freshman year, when I was so worried about where my classes were and how to get there as efficiently as possible. Now I feel like I know each and every corner of the school, which is very bittersweet. A lot of the teachers on that map have gone since then. I've had the joy of knowing many different mentors and peers throughout my high school years, and I feel that they have been so crucial to who I am. We all need to appreciate the moments and the people who have shaped us into the person we each are. The community and history that has, built, that has been built in Goodrich is debatably its best quality. Everybody knows everybody, and countless connections bring us together, even from generations past. After we all leave here today, I encourage everyone to be kind to any person they encounter, and never pass up the opportunity to get to know someone new, because you never know what stranger could actually become an unexpected friend. Today marks a monumental moment of our lives, moving on from this place that we've come to every single day. It reminds me of butterflies finally outgrowing their cocoons to fly free. It is so important to remember how precious life is. Don't take any day for granted. Say I love you more. Go out and pursue the things you've always wanted to and never cut yourself short. I know all of you will go out and do incredible things. I hope you remember your roots and the hardships you've already conquered at this young age. I wish you all the best. Thank you, and congrats to the best graduating class to come out of Goodrich, the class of 2023. Good evening. My name is Caden Kalinowski. Before I begin, I'd like to thank all the teachers, administrators, families, and friends. We would not be here today without your support. I would also like to congratulate everyone who is graduating today for their amazing accomplishments. When I was given the opportunity to give this speech, I wasn't quite sure what I would say. I didn't want to come up here and bomb as a comedian or bore everyone to sleep, so I guess I'll just give them my best shot. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm a very competitive person. Whatever I do, I'm going to lay it all on the line to win, because when it's all said and done, that reward, that sense of accomplishment, feels better than anything else. But something I've come to realize over this past year is that winning is not the most important thing, not even close. This year, our football team had the best season in school history. We made it all the way to the state championship game, but we lost. And I'll never forget how I felt after that game. Everything we worked for, everything leading up to that moment, felt like it was all for nothing. But after wallowing a while in my sadness, I came to a realization that above any win or any trophy, the thing that is going to stick with me the most are the relationships forged and those special moments that were made. 
moments at practice and at lifting, the laughs at team dinners, singing songs on the bus home after a win, having a team become a family, and a whole village rally around you. Sure, it would have been nice to win it all, but in the end, it's the journey that's important, not the trophy. People get so caught up in the end goal, where they're going, how great it's gonna feel when they get there, that they forget where they are right now. They forget to look around and appreciate everything that got them there, all the great people they've met and all the memories they've made. So before you all go your separate ways and leave GHS forever, or, and leave GHS forever, remember all the great times you've had and all the memories you've made along the path to get you here. Appreciate the journey. As Dr. Seuss once said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Thank you. Tonight, we gather to affirm our success, not only as students, but as athletes, activists, adventurers, as risk takers and believers. Tonight is the culmination of much more than our past four years. Tonight is the conclusion of our childhood and the emergence of a fresh new feeling of freedom. A few weeks ago, when I was told I had the opportunity to speak, I decided I would prepare for this speech with the same attention and responsibility that many of us have given any important assignment. So late last night, I began working. And after a few energy drinks and a few sentences written, I spent some time reflecting on how we, the class of 2023, have evolved over the past four years. As engaged students and citizens of Goodrich, we have learned how to disagree without being disagreeable. We have learned how to be leaders by being listeners. And most importantly, we have learned how to skim spark notes at one in the morning on a school night. These late nights of working and studying have done much more than cause severe caffeine addictions. Long evenings were fantastic opportunities to bond over our collective agony. From new study groups to newfound friends, our connections helped us persevere through the stress. That is what makes our small town so powerful. We are and will always be a strong, resilient, tight-knit community of tight-knit love and friendship. That is the true genius of Goodrich. But being a Martian comes with the responsibility of gratitude, that we owe a debt to our parents, teachers, and counselors. Being a Martian also comes with the responsibility to be a force of good. May we be agents of positive change and not contributors to a cynical climate. May we stand tall in the face of adversity rather than hesitate under our notion of uncertainty. And finally, may we rise above those who seek to weave discouragement into the fabric of our dreams. These ideals are necessary for success. But do understand that success is not transactional. Hard work does not simply pay off. It gives back time and time again in its own way, at its own pace. The future rewards those willing to put their head down and forge their own path forward. So no matter where you attend college, or for whom you choose to work with, or how you plan on achieving your aspirations, be happy for what you have learned, humbled by what you didn't, and hungry for all that you still seek to understand. Thank you and congratulations. Those are our top 10 senior scholars. How about one more round of applause for those speeches? You may be seated. It's my privilege now to deliver a message to the class. 
Let me first start by congratulating all of you on an extraordinary journey to your Goodrich commencement. You have no doubt faced some unique and unprecedented challenges. However, your class has had so many amazing accomplishments and set the bar very high for all the students who lined the hallways on your clap out yesterday. This class will always hold a special place in my heart as the last class I taught mathematics to and coach football with. And in a short time from now, the first class I am proud to give a well-earned diploma to. Individually, members of the Goodrich High School class of 2023, you can take enormous pride in their accomplishments. And collectively, this class has set a high standard for unity, spirit, hard work, service, and a concern for others. As much as any class in recent memory, the class of 2023 has advanced the mission of our school and embodied its highest values. As you gather this one last time, surrounded by those who love you, keep striving toward that bright future with hope, maintain a steady sense of purpose, move beyond the sturdy foundation you've built here, and keep the fire burning. We are all extremely proud of you. As a staff, we thank you for your commitment to academics, the arts, athletics, and your overall achievements. You are outstanding individuals, and we wish you nothing but the best. Remember to always look forward, but never forget where you came from. You will always have a home here as Goodrich Martians. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite Mr. Nardizi to the stage to help with the presentation of the class of 2023. Jacob Albert. Ava Alcorn. Zachary Alexander.
McKenna Bienkowski. Alexander Bissner. Sophia Bowers. Cameron Britton. Julia Brown. Mary Brown. Ava Bryant. Sarah Buckler. Camille Bernie. Xavier Burton. Chance Carlson. Mariah Carrizales. Chef. Jaden Compton. Jordan Khan. Paige Contreras. Kayla Cooper. Lauren Cox. Annabelle Cronander. Raina Damro. Owen DeCicci. Carly Doherty. Isaiah Dunn. Logan Durant. Shakaris Dye. Austin Eckstein. Kevin Elgis. And Chase Barrier.
let's see how they handle this sit down. Legat. 
Evan Lee. Derek Leinonen. Jaden Lip. Jack Losey. And Ethan McKinder. All right, let's see you in the redemption sit down, stand up. You do got this. You're the best row in the class of 23. Judge this one, improve on McCray's score. Christian Barrow. Paris Meyer. Lillian Mee. Allison Miller. Elizabeth 
Jacob Neubauer. Braden Patterson. Emma Perry. Jenna Peters. Richardson. I hear them planning it out. They're gonna, this one's going to be good.
Ano show. Mamadou Sidibe. Jace Simerson. Tyler Slimmon. Kendall Snyder. Evan Spencer. Hunter Staten. Anderson Stewart. Sydney Stone Rock. Ridley Stratton. Grace Stricker. Audrey Serva. Nicholas Tartaranu. <laughs> Abigail Thomas. Savannah Toombs. Jaden Uragni. Van Leuven. Yeah. Emmeline Vandermaas. Yeah. Jacob Villapando. Yeah. Leonardo Vincieri. Emily Waite. Joshua Wan. Christine Weber. Grace Westenfeld. Sullivan Whiting. Andrew Watasha. Hannah Williams. Jace Williams. Kaylin Williams. <laughs> Ruth Windler. <laughs> Sadie Weisner. Madison Yeager. Thank you. Aria Young. And rounding out the class, Chase Zoltek.
set. Ladies and gentlemen, class of 2023. Good evening. Good evening. Uh-oh. I, I don't need a mic. But. Well, I think they had Jesse's on. Mic check. Good evening. I'm Mike Bosler. I'm the superintendent of Goodrich Cherry Schools, but I was their principal first. I tell you what, what an exciting class. What you've been through, what you've accomplished, and what you're gonna do. We are all extremely proud of you. We wanna thank you for your overall commitment to academics, the arts, athletics, and your overall achievement. Thank you for being kind to each other, treating each other with respect, wearing a smile, and giving your best in everything you possibly could do. That's all we ask, and you guys rose to the occasion over and over. We're just excited to have been a small part of your journey. And we want you to always know you are not alone as you move on to the next chapter. You are outstanding, outstanding young men and women, and we wish you nothing but the best. As a superintendent, I do have a more business side I have to read, want to read. So bear with me, and then we'll have a little fun. Under the recommendation of Goodrich High School faculty, administration, and under the authority granted to me by the laws of the state of Michigan, that sounds pretty serious, I do, by here, I do hereby certify that the candidates of the class of 2023 who sit before you have met all the requirements set forth by the state of Michigan and are fully qualified and prepared to receive their diplomas. Remember to always look forward, but never forget where you came from. I heard that in a couple speeches today. You will always have a home here with us. Before I leave you, I'd like to have a little fun and one last time. Have us join in and we are Goodrich one last time. When I say we are, please let loose. Give it your best shot at warming up a bit and let the village know we are here tonight. You are here tonight by saying Goodrich. <laughs> wow, they're ready. Hey, we are. We are. Love you guys. Nicely done. That's, I like that a lot. Uh, I'd like to invite our, we're, we're almost there. We're, we're real close. I know the sun's starting to set, but it's, we're almost there. Uh, I'd like to invite our class officers up at this time. Uh, Avery Bosler, Owen DeCicci, Logan Durant, Sullivan Whiting, and Brian Karras. Please come up and join me on stage. As they make their way up and kind of form the you behind me here getting ready to speak one last time. Uh, they're going to give a few directions about how to, how to end. Uh, just make sure, again, you pay attention. We do want to toss caps on three, I believe. So listen, listen to instructions. Uh, before this happens, I want to share a few final directions for our audience. Following the ceremony, please remain in your seats. We will dismiss our staff, board members, and administration first. Uh, then students will be dismissed. They'll head out towards the concession stand area. Uh, there's also uh, an area behind the bleachers. We've set up some photo box drops, so that's where we can kind of welcome our students once they exit the football field. Without further ado, I'm going to let our officers take over on the tassel ceremony. Thank you. We have so much to be proud of, and as officers, we are proud of all of you and wish you the best in your future. We have faced our share of challenges as a class, but it will only make us stronger in the future. Now that we have formally graduated from Goodrich High School, there is only one thing that we have left to do. 
Class of 2023, proudly turn your tassels from the left to the right. On behalf of Goodrich High School, I proudly present the Class of 2023. Please stand and face the crowd. We will toss caps on three, so please get your phones out now. Grab your hat. One, two, three. I don't know where mine went. Good job. Done. Done. 